Creative Engineering was a company founded by Aaron Fector in 1975 that manufactured animatronic shows from the late 1970s to the late 1990s, and is mostly known for manufacturing the Rock of Fire Explosion animatronic show that was seen at all Showbiz Pizza Place restaurants from 1980 to 1993. Most of Creative Engineering's first animatronic shows have since been forgotten and information about them is very hard to come across. But in this video I will be explaining the history of Creative Engineering's first animatronics. A friend of the wizard at the Mystery Fun House. He wants me to invite you out to a scarifical, fantastical visit while you're in Orlando. Aaron had the idea to use animated characters for advertising purposes, and Willie is the first to do so, and with no limit to his vocabulary. Willie Rabbit was the first creative engineering animatronic ever built. He was created in 1976 to promote the Mystery Fun House in Orlando, Florida. The animatronic was placed in a small glass booth at an airport in Orlando. The animatronic was wearing a red tuxedo with a black bow. It also seems that behind the tuxedo he was wearing black clothing. The animatronic had glasses and even had moving eyebrows. The current status of the animatronic is now unknown. The Scab was an animatronic head with a Tor Johnson mask made by Creative Engineering in 1976. The Scab animatronic was known to have four movements. It was also an audio animatronic which means it had a show tape. Though it has never been found and is currently lost media. It was first publicly seen at the IAAPA convention in November of that same year. It was originally believed that it was bought by DJ's Oyster Bar in Tampa, Florida. But Aaron Fector has since said that this is false, saying he sold an animatronic clam to the bar and not the scab animatronic. The clam would be placed on the restaurant's road sign. The scab is very obscure and no photos of it have ever been found, but I think one of these heads could be it. The head's current status is unknown. In 1976, Creative Engineering created several different talking head animatronics, and they would be displayed at the 1976 IAAPA convention in New Orleans, Louisiana. No other information exists about the heads except for a few photos taken of them at the 1976 IAAPA convention. It is unknown whether any show tapes were produced for them, and their current location is unknown. Friendly Freddy was the fourth animatronic created by Aaron Fector in Creative Engineering in 1976. The animatronic was a black bear with a guitar. He was also Creative Engineering's first fully animated animatronic. The animatronic was very unique and used the windshield wiper motor for its neck movements. His first public appearance would be at the IAAPA convention in 1976. In his partially found show tape, he would often be commenting about his physique and how well built he was, usually tying into a promotional song for him and his buddies, which was likely referring to the other previously mentioned animatronics on display of that year's IAAPA convention. Absolutely right. 
Here's his promotional song. Two or possibly more Friendly Freddy animatronics would be produced. One Friendly Freddy animatronic would be installed at the Gaslight Village Amusement Park in Lake George, New York. The animatronic performed with the Wolfman and Fats Gorilla from the Wolfpack 5 in some sort of hybrid show. This same Friendly Freddy was later found by SPT Productions in 2020 and is currently undergoing restoration along with the rest of the Gaslight Jamboree animatronics. A Friendly Freddy animatronic would be installed at an amusement park called Magic World in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It would remain unchanged for around a year until 1977 when he was retrofitted to become General Cornelius Bearpatch as part of the Confederate Critter Show, where he was given facial hair and a Confederate soldier outfit. One unknown Friendly Freddy animatronic would be found at a warehouse in 2000, and was later seen on eBay in 2001. It has never been seen since. The Confederate Critters Show was an animatronic band produced by Creative Engineering in 1977. It was one of Creative Engineering's first full animatronic shows. Amusement Park Magic World, located in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, commissioned Creative Engineering to build them a Friendly Freddy animatronic after seeing their animatronics at the 1976 IAAPA Expo. The park only requested a Friendly Freddy animatronic. He would perform by himself until 1977 when Creative Engineering added two new characters, Colonel Stonewall J. Fox and Major Mosby Greyhound III, to perform with the Friendly Freddy animatronic which is also retrofitted into a new character called Cornelius Bearpatch. The show would be installed towards the back left side of the park. It would be placed in a giant tree stump and large confederate flags were mounted on a wooden fence. Every 15 minutes, a park and play would make an announcement over the park's PA system, stating, Ladies and gentlemen, the Confederate Critter Show will be starting in only 5 minutes. If you would like to see the Confederate Critter Show, please make your way to the oak tree stump at the top of the hill. Once again, that's the Confederate Critter Show, starting in only 5 minutes. The show also had a live actor acting as a union officer who would have conversations with the characters and comment about the show. Almost no footage of the show exists. The only footage of the show is a 4 minute and 25 second video of the band performing at Magic World in 1989. The show tape for the show is considered only partially found lost media. The entire show would be auctioned off during the closure of Magic World in 1996. The show would be sold by Magic World to Charles Moore, the owner of a business called Celebrity Golf located in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. The characters would then be put on display after being retrofitted into bears. The show was in terrible condition and could barely operate. What happened to the show is unknown, but a former employee at Celebrity Golf vividly recalls that the show was completely destroyed after Celebrity Golf's closure. So this is likely the final fate of the show.
The Santa Claus Review, or Jingle Bell Jamboree, was a Christmas-themed animatronic show made by Creative Engineering for the Santa's Village Park in Jefferson, New Hampshire in 1978. The show would have three stages and featured Santa Claus, a singing reindeer, and a log of singing elves. In 1979, the show's control system was updated by Creative Engineering. At an unknown point, the masks for the characters were switched around and redone, and the original Creative Engineering backgrounds would be changed. The show would run completely unchanged after this, until 2006 when the original Creative Engineering animatronics were removed from the show and replaced with new animatronics made by Advanced Animation. The original Creative Engineering animatronics were supposedly left in storage. They would still use the original Creative Engineering show tape. The show ran until 2016 